is Corey Aldrich, the booger of Fontana's in Monterrey. Tell us about this season, eh, Corey. Uh, it's been a solid season. Um, you know, it's number one, just always blessed to be able to play baseball and have a job playing. Uh, you know, we're doing well as a team and just trying to have fun. Why this season is uh, different for you at the last one? It's a different season. I, mean, I, played, 20, I mean, played 20 games last year. So there, I don't think that this season and last year's season don't even correlate. I mean, you're talking about seasons. I played 2012 with the Diablos. I hit 370. Nobody talks about that. And I got sent home. So it's just baseball. You know, we're not going to always be good. Nobody is. Robinson Cano is not always good. Alan Pujols is not good. It just happens. You know, you have injuries. You have family problems. You just never know. But baseball. Corey, you played at uh, Venezuela in Spring League. Tell us about that experience. Um, the baseball, and, and as far as winter ball baseball, is probably the best. Um, all the pitcher, you know, everybody there is affiliated with you know, major leagues. Uh, you know, a lot of guys coming back from Japan and things, so it's great. Um, other than, you know, the country's a little tough right now because you know we have a lot of government problems. So I didn't, you know, a lot, a lot of the things that I, I, I might enjoy in the United States or even here, they didn't have at that time. But um, I enjoyed playing the ball and I played for a great team and we, you know, we went to the finals and. I had a lot of fun. You play uh, Mexican Pacific League some uh, some seasons yeah. and with Tomateros de Culiacán. Tell us about your memories in that team. Um, I, you know, I, I played for Culiacán in the playoffs in 2012 and then I played the whole season before. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good team to play for because they have a lot of history. Um, you know, I have a lot of friends that I've, you know, I made there in that city and you know, a, lot of, a lot of good people that I've been in that city and then, you know, you're, you're always, anytime you play, you have bad memories. You know, I broke my finger and, you know, and you have memories of, of people, you know, a lot of people in that family because I couldn't swing anymore. So, but, um, you know, it was a great place to play baseball. Um, you know, I, I can't say that I'll play for them again. I can't say that I will. But, uh, it's a, great place to, it's a great place to play baseball and have a lot of tradition. Why do you think that Tomatero released you? I have to ask Mr. Lay. I heard he didn't like me. I don't know. So, uh, I, have, I don't know. I just, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't really even release me. It just didn't bring me back. Like, I thought I was going to sign back with him. You know, I talked to him. They were like, hey, we're going to bring you back. I said, okay. And uh, we got the contract. I went to Venezuela. And, uh, and I was blessed to go to Venezuela. It was a great opportunity. It was a great place to play. And uh, you know, I had some great memories of playing in Venezuela. So. They want to bring me back. It's their choice. You know, I don't, it, it, you know, it's my choice to say yes or no. So, that, that, you know, we'll talk about that when that happens. But right now, uh, you try to finish the season here and then worry about what I'm going Would you like to uh, to play again at uh, the Matero? You know, uh, my thing in baseball is I have a family. I'm a believer in God. So the best thing is you should do the best thing for your, for your future, your family, your God, whatever. And if that's the best thing for my for my future or for my family, then I'll go to the Tomatero. So if the best thing for my family is to go to Venezuela, then I go to Venezuela. If the best thing for my family is to go to Dominican, then I go to Dominican. And that's what it boils down to. You know, you have fans that are like, oh, we miss you here. That's great. But you're not part of my family, and I have to make sure that they're taken care of. And that's what's important to me. Something that you want to say to the uh, Sultana fans? Yeah, just stay positive. Um, that's the one thing I'll say is they have, we have some very good fans. You know, they're very diehard fans and they're positive, and that's the best thing you can have for a team. You know, there's nothing worse than you know, your home team booing you. These guys, they come out every day and they're positive, they're, they're loud, and they're just, they make you want to go, they make you want to play hard for them. Are you still uh, talking with Marlon Burr after that yeah. experience with Tomateros? I've known, I've known Marlon since, since 2000. You know, I've known Marlon for over 15 years or something. So, you know, we talk all the time. He's, you know, he's, again, he's doing what's best for his future. He went, he went, to, he went to Mexico, and he had to play and be seen playing, and it worked out for him. So, you know, he's doing what's best for his future. You know, they asked him to come back to Tomateros, and I knew if I was there, he wasn't going back. But, but like, it wasn't, it wasn't the best thing for his future, so obviously he's doing fine. He's making good money, he's in the big leagues, and, but uh, he's doing fine. You know, he's, the team's doing well, his family's doing well, and that's what matters.